hello everyone i hope you are doing good this video is being created on the special request of one of my friend uh, and it's regarding the kms so without any delay let's start it so uh, basically kms is a key management system and it is very useful tool of uh, aws so if you haven't uh, created any of the encryption and uh, decrypted any of the keywords then let's uh, have a look on it so this is a KMS console and here I have created a key so this is my key ID if you click on it it will give you more information about it so basically this is not a AWS managed key it is customer managed key so there are few differences uh, between the AWS managed key and customer managed key but uh, in this particular demonstration we are just going to you know go ahead with the encryption and uh, decrypt the key that's it nothing else apart from that so let's start it without any delay this is the key which will be or this is the ARN path which will be required for our demonstration so we'll use it so uh, I'm in this particular folder and this is the Linux host created in the AWS itself so okay so uh, we need to have a clear text password if you want to encrypt that so let's create a clear text password hello I hope you are enjoying the video alright this is my clear text key and now we will encrypt it using the master key of AWS which is of AMS alright So this is the only keyword uh, clear text password we have and now let's use it so uh, if, if you go to the documentation of uh, KMS then it shows you how to encrypt and decrypt the password but uh, in this particular scenario things are not really working the way they were supposed to for example if you will uh, use this particular keyword then this is not going to work let me you know copy and paste it over here and then we will try to build it one by one the key ID and the key ID will be where are you key ID you are here so let's use it oh sorry and then what is the next option we have to encrypt in plain text file file b and we need to name some sorry and it will be abcd.txt that's what we created right so if, if I put enter right away then this will give me encrypted file this one the cipher blob and all the systems so this is the encrypted key which can be used in your application or wherever you want to use it but uh, let's go ahead and give a few more stuffs output and then um, I will query it and what you want to query is a cipher text so let's copy it from here and uh, when I was configuring the AWS CLI I had chosen the output format as a JSON so that's why I am seeing it in this format and you, I would be able to gather the details from it and
comma base 64 and hyphen hyphen decode this is this is what uh, something new I'm trying first time let me try it so abcd dot txt Oh shit, <laughs> I've done something silly. Uh, I just redirected it on the, into the same file. So let's try it again. they should work awesome so this is working so this has been done so encryption is done the next will be if you want to decrypt it so how can we decrypt so this is a simple you know um, method of de decrypting it so I will use some other method for this particular demonstration and uh, we need to define decrypt and the next will be cipher blob file b and the name of file is what we need to define over here clear text dot txt So this method, what it does, it uh, just converts the text into the clear text and uh, then redirects you to the base64 file. So th the same way we are going to do this particular example and I will show you some other ways of decoding it. So let, let me hit enter over here. So as you can see, the, this is the clear, clear text, but this is not the same you know, clear text what we entered. So we need to decode it for now. So if we want to decode it, then just, just let me redirect it. And uh, oh, not this one. Output text query and I will query plain text plain text and then we need to re re redirect it somewhere or we can do same way just read it encrypt it so let me use the same method we use in the you know encrypting the file make it base 64 and then hyphen hyphen decode it the real text dot txt they should also work ah my bad sorry we forgot the redirect but So let's get the real text 
and yes this is working so you can match this two hello this is clear text and this is clear text so this is matching and we were able to decode it without any problem so thanks for watching our video please subscribe to our channel bye bye